Hey, Doom Slice and Home Skillet, what's pop locking? It's July 10th. They're doing construction around my residence, so. A jackhammer going off in your ear isn't exactly pleasant. So here I am. I debated going to another trail or downtown. FOMO. It's a thing. But as long as you're enjoying yourself, you have a reason to live. And I want to backtrack for a second and clarify what I meant by indicating that I think I sound like an idiot. That's a projection. Also, what I meant by that is my voice sometimes reaches a little higher treble or octave than I'd like. I watched this TED Talk published a few days ago. I watched a TED Talk, aren't you proud? And a guy that's extremely incapacitated, deformed, and yet they're able to connect wires to his brain and use his vision to track what he's seeing and make movements, control robots. You know, it's all very fascinating, right? I'm into neuroscience. I watch Huberman podcasts. So I'm edumacated. No. How do you not look back at yourself with the age of social media and feel like you were a fool or you said things that made you cringe? Um, it's hard. It's easier to just stay constant. That way you don't have expectations of yourself in the future. Is that really a suffer? Like, am I really suffering? Am I trying to feed a family of six in South Africa with dwindling water and food supplies so I have to go pirate other ships? No. Nothing. Everyone has gone berserk in Western culture. Um, clearly, you can't. We're just like schizophrenic uh, addicts looking for a fix in the next product. We... We're so far gone and detached. People on this channel understand this. How do you not, how do you fight who you are? How do you fight being a highly sensitive person? Is it a curse? Maybe. But it's too late. We should have done this 30 years ago and started the transition, you know, and not had babies. The world, we can't support eight and a half billion people. It's ridiculous. All right, so I clarified some things here. I'm doing this because this is what I do. Um, I'm not apologizing for who I am or what I'm saying. So, El Nino is here. And temperatures are increasing globally. And the anomalies are increasing as well and of course you have people in comments still saying well it's summer it's hot and there was this one couple years i worked in construction in florida it was just as hot or hotter during the summer in 2002 let me pick a year because they don't have they have smooth brain they don't have critical intelligence critical thinking skills to rationalize events happening over long you know, semi-long periods of time. In this case, it's abrupt. You know they have five guys in London now? Damn, they're everywhere. Get it without the bun. Get it a lettuce wrap only. And don't even get the meat. Just get lettuce and veggies. Because you're evil if you get meat. 70% of men would prefer to have meat and would rather not live if they didn't couldn't get it, okay? Got to get the meat on the stick, in the bun, in the sauce. What is normal? How do you tell a society what and how to think? How do you get people to change their lifestyle globally? And also the one, how many millionaires are there? Jim Bendel made a podcast recently and said, uh, or had an interview and 
talked about how a majority of younger people he talks to indicate that they feel this is the last time in human civilization that we have and I know that you know that and yet this 24 year old for example he was talking to understands actually more you know he gets gaslighted okay by the older you know gen x wankers gaslighted oh you're crazy push you into a corner and I think it's almost equally as so that you got that going on and I get that plenty um it's not even worth it there's Nate said you know, what's the point of arguing with people now when you know we're all fucking dead in like 12 years tops? And, or wish you were dead. It's going to be so awful. And, yeah, this is the best time we've ever had. Someone said this is actually a time in history we can say this is the best we'll ever have it. Um, food still on the shelves. You know, yeah, what's your what's, what's worth arguing with people? I just write don't look up. I just write a phrase, N-T-H-E or something. I just don't even, it's not even worth your, your time and energy to argue with people. And I've said this many times on this channel. Even with your friends and close, like, family, like, it's just not even just, just separate yourself from the bullshit, from the neurotic um, insanity that others like to spew on you. Just set distance yourself, you know. I have a great audience base. I'm content with the people here. Someone asked why I don't have any, you know, surprising why I don't have any more subscribers. I don't know. Pe being ahead of your time is inconvenient. It's just, yeah. People cannot, I realize now, even years ago, when I would approach people and try to talk sense into them about the ways that we're living our lives. And yeah, I mean, strangers on the street, you know, close friends, whatever at that time and how just foolish and insane to them i sounded like a crazy person but it's just now catching up with them three or four years later when we're hitting record temperatures every day around the globe um and it's front page news that you know it's a crisis along with the war in ukraine you know they will remember that little nugget in their head they talked to that that environmentalist reagan character doom wizard all right, I'm going to go back to surfing the web and doom scrolling and looking for fun things to do. I think there's a, a street festival coming up, a taste of Akron. I like food, okay? I like trying different foods from around the world. And I agree, taking, remind me of food, I, I immediately think of Anthony Bourdain and food co travelers, how, you know. Really? You couldn't have waited a few more years? Until fucking civilization collapses like the rest of us. But no, you just you just end it early. Is it that miserable? No, I quite enjoy the smell and the sound of birds. Yeah, go feed the birds. Stop worrying. That's what she says. Stop worrying. I worry too much. Well, you're clearly not digesting the information and realize that, you know, we've been given a death sentence. Okay. Enjoyed my time. Enjoy your time. Right on, Doomers. Worldwide. Realists. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.